Okay, so this is my test print with my Form 1 Plus. I actually need to take this piece of paper out. What I've done is I've just modeled across and um, taken an old spent tray and I've measured um, 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters, divided it in half and drawn this bullseye. Should have probably cut the paper down slightly smaller than my measurement to allow for some error, but I didn't. That is super sticky. So my error will be a few millimeters, but this is gonna allow me to more or less line the tray up Line the laser up, line the galbo up. This tray is super sticky because it's got some old resin in it. So even if I'm not on the mark right here, I'll be better than where I was. So, the Y galbo, which was the top galvanometer, I think I've lined it up pretty good already with my error. I'm going to have it right on the right side of that. That's pretty cool. That works out just fine for me. What I needed to start doing is the... I needed to go all the way forward and all the way back and I don't exactly know how to do that. Maybe that is all the way forward and all the way back, and maybe I need to adjust the X galvo. Because that's all I've really seen. Oh, yeah. See, I was way off. And by way off, I mean like a millimeter. So that intersection should be, I'm going to aim for the middle of this cross I've done here, keeping in mind my variation. <clears throat> Ooh. That's so good, I'm happy with it. I'm just going to leave it. Let's tighten up this galvanometer and call it. Call it pretty good. Now this should be going all the way to the edges of these trays. Um, perhaps adjusting the Y. See that Y gives me an offset left or right, which would be forward or back from the camera's perspective. Let's see. Now there is a procedure online where people are taking photo paper and placing it in the trays and then burning an image of the laser's path onto the photo paper. Um, but when they do that, they are calibrating the little thingies. I don't know the names of them. Actually, I have the webpage brought up right here so I could probably tell you the name of them. They are calibrating the Oh, so I just basically wrote, you know, put this in, uh, 
done the strap just a little bit, not quite finger tight. So some uh, trim parts. So perhaps I need to calibrate the trim parts. I don't know. Um, perhaps I will do a calibration run and then see. Um, I'm wondering if I can get, if I manipulate this X axis here, will I have a larger or a smaller laser path on that piece of paper? No, it's just moving my intersection up and down. So I'm going to try to make that intersection dead on. We'll do one more layer for the intersection. It's extremely sensitive. I'll call that good. Actually, you know what, since I'm here, let me try to get a spot on. Actually, I need to go in error down towards myself. Probably right about there. Yeah. Because that paper's folded up in the front. Okay, we'll call that good. Time for a test print. And while we're here, just so you can see the galvanometers I'm manipulating. This one right here is the Y axis, that one right there is the X axis. And just because it's pretty. There's the movement.